I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Air City Tote, which I've been testing for a week. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So just right off the bat, you can tell that this 22 liter Air City tote is an airbag. We have the 1680D Cordura Ballistic Nylon, which is blue sign approved, yay sustainability. And you just have a lot of the same features that you see on other airbags. Like we have this vertical zipper, which we saw on the Air Gym Duffel 3 and the Duffel Pack 3. And then we have the YKK zippers with the cords and the air name on these zipper poles. This is a water resistant zipper with a garage at the top to protect this pocket from getting moisture inside. The other ones are just regular zippers, but they work really well. And as you can see, there, there's gaps at the end of the zipper, so moisture is going to get inside anyways. There's that. Looking around the rest of the bag, since it's up, we have these nice carry handles, which they're, you can see they're very stiff. They're just webbing stitched on itself, no padding or anything, but I didn't find it uncomfortable to carry at all, even over bare shoulders like this. They don't rub. It's it's fine. And then, you know, obviously if you get tired on one side, you can put it on the other. And I do love this strap keeper because it's just always attached to the rear handle. And then you just put the top one in, snap it into place, and then it just, it keeps them together, which is very nice. Then around the top here, we have two on the front and two on the back of these little attachment points. So you could hang like another little pouch. We'll hang this just to sort of show you. You can hang like another little pouch or some hand sanitizer, maybe a Bluetooth speaker or something like that. If you don't have enough room inside, you can put things around the outside. And then just, you can see the, the panels have they have very good structure and there's padding along the back panel and some padding just not quite as much along the front panel so you get really good structure so it's really easy to pack which is really awesome so for a tote bag this is a very i feel sleek and stylish looking one with, but with you know with the structure and the all black design it just it i feel like it looks really nice whether you're you know, going through the airport to catch a flight or you're going to a friend's for the weekend and want to pack it with your gear for that. It just works out really nice. Like I said, it's pretty comfortable up here and obviously you can switch shoulders if you need to. Also, I do like, I think personally, it has a sweet spot of long enough straps that it fits comfortably over your shoulder, but not so long that, I don't know if you guys can really see this, but I'm, I'm extending uh, my arm down and it's not dragging on the ground and I'm not the tallest person in the world. So that's a nice shout that you can carry it both ways like that. So there's also a third way that I will show you when we get to the next spot, but you can slide it over the handle of rolling luggage. So if it gets to be too much and you got somewhere else to put it, you can do that. So in my opinion, this isn't just your standard, just basic beach or market tote. This has a lot going on both inside and out. So obviously we will start with the outside. This vertical zipper, I mean, it looks cool. I did not really find a great use for it because this front pocket spans the whole front of the bag, but with the vertical zipper, I found it hard to like get gear in and then figure out what I would want to put in and then not risk having it fall out. So I don't know, I slid a notebook, in, a hardcover notebook in here and it's, it's fine, it's just not exactly my cup of tea. It is nice that there's this little tab at the bottom to help you zip it back up. 
It's just, it's, it is a loop. You could hang something off of it if you really wanted to, but I really feel it's more for helping you with that zipper. Do with it what you may. Maybe you stick an extra layer in there that you don't plan on really needing. I think that would be a good use for it. It is what it is. On the back side, um, we do have that luggage pass through that I just sort of mentioned as a throwaway in the last section. And we also have a nice small quick access pocket. It's not extremely deep. Well, I guess it goes pretty far down, but your stuff doesn't like sink in, or at least I didn't find it did because it's, it's rather narrow. So it's good for like thin things um, like your passport, a wallet, stuff like that. Also because it's, it's not lockable or anything, but because it's mostly gonna be up against your body, it's just a little more secure than that front pocket. Sort of, a little bit. But it's good for your phone, it's a good size for that. If you didn't wanna stick it elsewhere, just realize that whatever you stick in here has the potential to bang up against you, so I wouldn't maybe go sticking something really thick in there. On either side, we have bottle pockets and they are, they're really deep. And I will show you the one that actually has the bottle in it. They are really deep. This is a standard um, Hydra flask and you can fit things pretty nicely in there. They do go into the main compartment. And then I did find that they're impacted by this really stiff upper rim of the main compartment. So if you have the main compartment completely packed, like stuffed full, and then you try to shove in your water bottle, it can be a little difficult. I also had one time it like, like this top part didn't want to bend in to allow me to slide in the water bottle. I think that was a user error and not the bag because I could never get it to do it again, but it was, it was odd. That said, it's, it's not a problem. It holds them really nicely inside. So I do feel like they're, they're good for that. They're good for an umbrella. Anything else you wanted to slide inside. I even tossed my phone in there a couple of times just because I had everything else packed and it was just easy to grab there. That's that. Let's get into the main compartment now, shall we? It's easiest if you undo the handles just so then they flop to the side and you have nice access that makes it easier. Obviously you can get in if you have them together. It's just easier this way. Um, so as I pointed out, the, the compartment, it is covered by this nice fabric and a zipper, but there are gaps at the side. So, you know, if you have to lay this down under the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin, try to make sure that little things are in other big pouches that might not escape or just keep track of your gear just in case because things could pop out if this got upended or laid down. That said, it's a tote bag. A lot of tote bags are just open, so it's nice to have a little bit on top there, right? We have, this is, since it has not a ton of structure, it's really nice that there's a loop here that you can hold on to to open it. And then the zipper track goes pretty far, so then you have something to hold to re-zip it up. You see how nice and easy that went. The only thing is then, you know, you gotta shove that zipper track in there if you don't want a little tail hanging out, but it's not that big of a deal. I did find, now it's not gonna do it right now because I have this really full, but if you don't have really tall items up here, sometimes, well, you can already kind of see, the, the material just sort of goes, hangs down and then it can obscure the organization a little bit, but it's easy enough to either push all the way down so you can see the organization or pull out of the way if you need to. So you will see, we're gonna go here against, and I'm gonna flip it up so you can see we have some organization against the back. We have two really nice sizable slip pockets with a um, sort of, it's a little bit of stretch at the top. It's good for really big items. I've got my glasses there and a little toiletry kit, but like if you like uh, over the ear noise canceling headphones, they would fit in there, your Nintendo Switch, stuff like that. Then against the back panel, we do have a nice zip pocket 
it's sort of the, the mirror of the outside one. Again, just small items. It's mostly suspended, so it will stay somewhat out of the crush zone if you wanted to put glasses or something there, but obviously they, there's no padding or protection. But it's nice to have a little zipper pocket for your small gear. And then on the other side, I'm gonna pull out here. You can see I've got a travel neck pillow here. I've got a packable towel, and then I've just got an extra layer here just to sort of show you. Like if you were gonna go on the plane, that's what I'd be taking at least. So we also have, oh, there we go. There's a nicely padded laptop sleeve and it can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. I've only got a 13 in here right now. And then, there's this nice microfiber lining. It's very soft against the back, so it's not gonna scratch your device or anything. We've got the air branding here. There was air branding, there we go, right on the front too. Um, but this is very nicely padded, and then like I said, the back panel is padded as well. And then in front, we have another padded pocket where you can stick a tablet if you want, or if you have some file folders or whatever, magazine you want to slip in there. But it is padded in case you had another device that you wanted protected. Now I will say, like if you pull out your device and you're not paying attention, this this little tab here does get stuck on the microfiber inside. S small potatoes here, really, but it can happen. It does get a little stuck, just something to be aware of. And then you saw there's still a ton of room in between. And then if you don't need all this extra organization, they lay pretty flat, which is nice. I was able to pack for a whole weekend to stay at my friend's house you know, with packing cubes and my clothes and my toiletries and stuff and had absolutely no problem making it through the weekend with this bag. So there you have it, the Air City Tote. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.